is Professor Dave. I'm going to show you, how, you know, a fundamental programming concept, which is how to add up numbers. And we're going to take numbers from a spreadsheet. This happens to be like a rating system uh, for musicians. And we're going to have these numbers. Humans, you know, can kind of do this, you know, almost second nature. Uh, but to show a computer to do it, to show it, to code it is, is a different story. Uh, and just to show you what our app will look like, this is the app we're going to build, but this is a working version of it. Um, I'm going to run this guy, and as you'll see, it lists all the data. And then if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see that it it just adds stuff up. It actually takes the average, so it adds up 9 plus 10 plus 6 plus 5 plus 9 gets 38, divides by 6 and gets 7.8. Okay, and then it also does for each of the two musicians their, their specific average. Okay, so that's what we're shooting for. And... Um, you know, and like I said, you're going to learn fundamental programming concepts uh, to, to do this. So I'm going to create a new app and we're going to start from scratch. And I'm just going to call this the music grading app. Uh, and the category can just be education. And I'm going to choose this try it out. So we're going to use the drag and drop interface in Dunkable. And I'm going to say create. Okay. So this is going to create a blank project for me. And once well, maybe I didn't click it. Once I do that, it's go going to, you know, we're going to, first thing we're going to do is connect our spreadsheet to this, to this new app. Okay. And um, so to, to connect your spreadsheet, you got to choose this little data icon and it will say data sources, click plus. I have a bunch of spreadsheets I've already connected to different apps. So it shows me those, but you can also go down to the bottom and choose um, create new and it will show you all your Google sheets. And you could also do Airtable databases, different ones, but um, we're going to use a Google Sheet, you know, just Google Sheet, just like you use in, in your work. And I'm going to choose this one called Music Ratings, which is this one that I showed you. Okay. Um, so I've got that app. I think I might have clicked it twice. So let me get rid of one of these, these guys. And so my app is now connected to the spreadsheet called Music Ratings. First thing I'm going to do is just show the stuff. So I'm going to grab what's called a data viewer list. And this is just basically a, a component which displays spreadsheet data. And I'm gonna make it a little bigger. And the data source, of course, is gonna be musician ratings, sheet one. Um, the text I wanna show is artists. And I also wanna show their rating, okay? I'm actually gonna, you can choose different kinds. I'm gonna show three different pieces of information. So I'm gonna also show the, username of whoever gave the rating and you as you can see it already kind of works i can test it and my app will look something like this okay of course what we're looking to do is to show some totals okay so i'm going to grab a label component and stick it on here and we're just going to do just the total for now so i'm going to call this label total label i'm not going to even think about averages i'm just trying to total things up and I've got this total label and I'll just stick a dash in there to start. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna actually have to write code blocks to, to add the numbers up. Okay, so I've got my, you know, it's not a great user interface, but I've got a user interface. Now I'm gonna go to the blocks and, you know, really to add these up, what I need is a variable. So a named memory cell, it's like a spreadsheet cell, but it's not really in the spreadsheet. Um, and all coding languages have these things called variables. And the way you create one in app, or sorry, in Thunkable is you just grab this initialize app variable block, rename this, in this case, I'm gonna name it total. It's really my running total as I kind of walk through the numbers um, and, and add them up. So I'm gonna start this guy out at zero. I'm gonna have one more variable. And I've, I've actually got to bring in all the numbers from the spreadsheet into my app. But, you know, I've got the data source connected, but I need a variable called ratings list. And I'll show you how to connect it in a second. It's going to be a list, so I'll kind of initialize it as empty list. Okay, now, when the screen opens is when I want to do my dirty work. So I'm going to grab this when screen opens block. This is an event handler. Whatever I put in here is going to happen when the app starts. Um, and the first thing I want to do is, is I want to set my variable called not total, but my variable, I can hit this little triangle or upside down triangle ratings list. I want to set it to um, all the stuff from the spreadsheet, the ratings from the spreadsheet. 
And the way I do that is I go down to data sources and you'll notice it's, it's kind of analyzed my spreadsheet and created all these blocks for me. So it knows I've got this music ratings spreadsheet and I can grab this block called list of values. And what I'm going to do is just say, bring in the stuff from the spreadsheet, not the artists, bring in all the ratings and stick them in this variable called ratings list. Okay, so think of ratings list as a name for a bunch of memory cells. They're going to have essentially nine, 10, six, five, and nine in them. Okay, so I've got that internal variable, this kind of hidden memory, which the app's going to hold. And now what I'm going to do is use a repeat block. Okay, and there's a number of different kinds of repeat blocks. I'm going to grab in Thunkable this one called for each item and list. And it just basically says whatever I put inside here, it's going to do it for every single item in the list. And the list, of course, I care about is this one called ratings list. So I go to my variables folder and get a reference to my ratings list. I'm also going to rename this guy. I'm going to rename it item. Um, I don't like the default name, J. So item, think of that as your current item, right? So we've got this total we're going to use, which is going to be our running total. And then item is going to have each number as, as it goes, goes through. Okay. So what do I want to do each time? And, you know, if we bring up our spreadsheet and, and like I said, those variables are not really in the spreadsheet, but just let me give you a visualization of it. I'm going to have item. I'm going to have total. And essentially the first time through total is going to be zero because we're just starting. We're going to grab the first number nine and then we're going to add it to total. Total is going to get set to its current value plus the new number nine. Okay. And then we'll get the second number. That'll be our new item called 10. And we'll say, okay, now our new running total is nine plus 10 or 19. So we're always adding the new number to the previous number um, or sorry, the previous running total. Right. And that's the kind of tricky part. Uh, but if you can get if you can get this concept that I'm going to show you in this code, I'm going to show you, it's a you know like probably the most fundamental coding concept there is. Okay, so it's really important. All right, so for each of these items, as we're walking through, we're going to want to set our variable total, and this is the tricky part. We're going to want to set it. We're going to want to add to it, right? So I want to change. Set means change. I want to change the variable total, and I want to change it to its existing value, its previous value, right? You know, you know, it's a running total. So it's got some number in there, which is all the stuff we've added up so far. And each time what I want to do, I want to add to that running total, the variable called item. Okay, so each time through, change my running total to what it already is, plus this new item coming from the, from the list, okay? analyze this code very carefully because it's probably the most common code there is in, in programming. Okay, so we, we think we're adding up everything in our total. This, is, this variable total is a hidden memory, right? It's like a memory cell inside your brain or inside the app. And we actually need to show it inside our label. So I'm gonna go grab, I wanna set my total label text and I wanna set it to the variable called total. So I believe as this code runs, um, if we run it, it's gonna put, I think 38 in, into the variable for me, or 39, sorry. So nine plus 10 is 19, plus six is 25, plus five is 30, plus nine is 39. So indeed, our app just added up all the numbers in the spreadsheet and just displayed them, okay? And of course we could go back to editing and, and we could add an average as well. So I'd have to go to the designer and I'll add another label. And this is gonna be my average label. And I could, I could put some other labels in just to kind of say what things are, but let's just call this average label. And if I go back to my blocks, I can now set my average label text and of course, I want to take the total and divide, right? So to get the average, total them all up. So grab my running total. And I don't want to add, I want to divide. 
Um, oh, maybe I did grab the divide. I think I did. Or maybe I grabbed plus. The divide kind of looks like the plus, but there's the divide. And of course, I want to divide it by the number of things in the ratings list. Uh, so if I go to the list blocks, there's this length of that you'll use a lot. And it's a little tricky. You drag it out, get rid of the default list that's in there. And then, of course, you want to reference to the ratings list. OK, so my average is going to be this total that I computed with this for loop and divided by the length of the of the list. So I think if I run it, um, I get my 7.8, which is correct. 